welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Everybody Loves Raymond running gags. Still trying? Yeah. <laughs> it's a cop. Oh my God, what am I gonna do with all this fruit? Well, the most people like it. You know, it isn't funny if it hurts the other person. <laughs> For this list, we're looking at recurring moments that we loved as much as everybody loves that Ray guy. Everybody loves commenting too, so leave us one below. Number 10. Holy crap! While everyone does love a good catchphrase, there is a fine line between a good one and a bad one. A good one fits the character, makes you laugh, and doesn't feel like the situations are being created just so the character can say the line. One such catchphrase was Frank Barone's. Holy crap! <laughs> Sure, if the show had been on HBO, it might have been a more R-rated expression, but on CBS in primetime, they could get away with holy crap. Oh. Holy crap, that's good. <laughs> and to be honest, we think it's funnier that way than had they allowed Frank to start dropping F-bombs all over the place. Number 9. Ray being rejected. Often when Ray tries to get intimate, he's shot down by his wife. Let me tell you something. I have always thought your eyes are beautiful. That's very sweet. But I want you to answer the question again, and bear in mind that I am way too tired to have sex tonight. <laughs> It's a classic married couple trope, but the Everybody Loves Raymond writers have a lot of fun with it throughout the show's run. No, no, no. <laughs> there are a number of funny moments with the couple in bed, ending with Deborah rolling over. In one episode, Ray even points out that when Deborah wears her flannel pajamas to bed, he knows there's no chance of anything happening. When, when you come to bed wearing that silky thing, I know I have a chance, but <laughs> flannel pajamas... Might as well be wearing a porcupine suit. <laughs> the running gag is so much a part of the show that in the final season they have an episode in which Ray says no to Deborah's advances just so she can see how it feels. Okay. <laughs> well, night. Yeah. Oh, good night. Oh. <laughs> Number 8. Imitating Ray's Voice There's no denying that Ray Romano has a distinct voice and manner of speech just ripe for imitation. Oh no! Honey, there's nothing wrong with the shower! Get out of here! Oh, my rash is back! And over the course of the show's nine-year run, it seems like pretty much every other character on the show had a go at poking fun at Ray. From his friends to his family, everyone shows off their Ray impression at one time or another. Oh, I hurt my pinky when I was typing! <laughs> the keys were so hard! <laughs> I can't do this anymore! They say that imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. And if that's true, then no one was flattered more often by more people than Ray. We guess everybody really does love him. Oh, I can? Ho, make tuna out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's me, huh? Well, this is you, this is you. <laughs> Number seven. Marie being passive-aggressive with Deborah. Another classic sitcom premise is the not-always-loving relationship between a spouse and their in-laws. When I want my home to look nice, is there anything wrong with asking Ray to help me? That's certainly valid. And Raymond, you of all people should know that if you want your house to look nice, Deborah needs help. In this case, it's Deborah and her mother-in-law Marie, who's constantly pointing out, both directly and passive-aggressively, Deborah's shortcomings in the home. Ma, what are you doing? Well, Deborah insisted on cooking a fish, so I cooked a turkey in case people want to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Her cooking and cleaning are constantly under the Marie microscope and a source of frustration for Deborah and humor for us. Well, I was just on my way to the market and I was... <laughs> Deborah, are you cooking something? No. 
Oh, because there's an aroma. <laughs> Marie relishes the fact that she can hold those things over Deborah. So much so that in one episode, when she agrees to teach Deborah how to cook meatballs, she purposely sabotages Deborah's efforts. This is very bad, Mom. <laughs> How did you find out? Your fake label came off. A damn glue stick. <laughs> Number six. Is this about me? Ray's older and much taller brother Robert is a good-looking police officer, but he's always felt like a second-class citizen in his family. And as such, he can be a little paranoid that people might be talking about him or that he did something wrong. Hey, Deb, I finished the Pepto. Is this about me? <laughs> One of the show's great running gags plays off of that and has Robert saying, Is this about me? Whenever he walks into a room and everyone in the room stops talking. But he really shouldn't be worried because it is almost always not about him. Go, no, get wait, out! Stop this! Oh, get, why? Get out! Hi. Is this about me? <laughs> Number five, Robert touching food to his chin. How about the way you eat? Every time you take a bite, you touch it to your chin first. What do you call that? Quirky. <laughs> if I was famous, everyone would be doing it. Besides his insecurities, or maybe because of them, Robert has a whole host of quirks and OCD behaviors. From his hatred of being poked, to his need to separate his good and plenty candy into goods and plenties. Which one is which again? Never mind. No, 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 go ahead. go ahead. The pinks are the goods, and the whites are the plenties. Because there's always more of them. And they're not as good. But perhaps the oddest and most enduring of all his quirks is his need to touch food to his chin before putting it in his mouth. Excuse me, are you very nervous right now, or do you do that all the time? Do what? <laughs> This compulsive behavior is part of the character from season one, and while it does get mentioned on numerous occasions, it isn't until season eight that we finally find out why he does it. So you see, Robert, when Ray came along, you started touching food to your chin as a subconscious way of trying to get your mother's attention again. And now that's your way of dealing with any kind of stress. That makes sense, right? See, I told you I would get it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Number four, Marie feeding Ray. Like the classic old school Italian mother that she is, Marie is always cooking, and in turn, always feeding her family. What do I do for you anymore? I mean, what's left? My food. Okay, Mom, it's very, very good food. Many of the scenes at Marie and Frank's house take place in the kitchen and feature Frank at the table eating and Marie at the stove cooking. Also, as you would probably expect, almost every time Raymond walks into the house, his mother asks him if he's hungry. Oh, hi, dear. You hungry? I'm sorry I can't offer you lasagna or ice cream. Or chocolate cake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course, anyone with an Italian mother knows, his answer doesn't matter because he's getting food put in front of him regardless. Here comes an airplane, uh, okay. it's on the landing. Uh, <laughs> come on. Stop it. Oh, airplane's waiting. Stop it. Come on. No. Zoom, zoom, zoom. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, zoom, 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 zoom. We don't want the airline to lose your luggage. There you go. Number three. Fruit of the Month Club. The starter gun went off on this running gag right in the pilot episode when Raymond bought his parents a membership to the Fruit of the Month Club. That's right, that's right. How are they? Oh, they're very nice pears. <laughs> but there's so many of them. Mm -hmm. There are over a dozen pears. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with all those pears? It seems simple enough, and to many of us, we would be happy to receive such a gift. Or at least act grateful. So, when do you suppose it will arrive? 
Hey, it's not that Fruit of the Month thing again, is it? No, no, no. Oh, that was the worst. Okay. They're still coming. We got grapefruit out the wazoo. Oh, I, you promised. You promised you'd stop them. You're still in the computer. It's going to take a couple months. Dear God. But to Frank and Marie, the gift was an assault of fruit that made them feel very uncomfortable, and they made sure to bring it up on multiple occasions. What about the, the Fruit of the Month Club? Oh, that was insane! A year of fruit? <laughs> you know, they still send me flies wanting me to rejoin? And, and, and pictures of apricots? <laughs> How's that supposed to make me feel? The fruit of the month scene in the pilot is one of the most classic moments of the entire series. Why did you oh do this to me? Oh, I can't talk to you with fruit in the house. Oh, <laughs> what is happening? Number two, Ray and Robert's rivalry. The show is called Everybody Loves Raymond and not Everybody Loves Robert. And Robert's feelings of inferiority to his brother can even be seen in the opening credits for the first couple of seasons as an annoyed Robert goes by exclaiming that Everybody loves Raymond. While most parents would never admit to having a favorite child, it's hard to deny the fact that when it comes to their mother, Raymond is the golden boy to Robert Silver or maybe even Bronze. This lifelong feeling of second best leads to some very funny moments of him being quite happy whenever things don't go well for Ray. What did you do? <laughs> yeah. And from Ray's side, he really enjoys poking fun at his brother whenever he has a chance, which is quite often. That's going to need another Coke. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Ray's nicknames for Deborah. Hey, Annie M. <laughs> when Ray would walk into the house after a long day at work, he could have just said, honey, I'm home. That would have been fine. But instead, the show took this walk-in-the-door opportunity and turned it into the series' best running gag, as Ray would seemingly make up a different cutesy nickname every time. Hey, snuggle pants. <laughs> According to a fan wiki for the show, there were over 25 different nicknames. And while the gag was primarily used during the first three years, it did make appearances in later seasons as well. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. You couldn't just call her anything. Yeah, yeah, no, I could. She just hears the cute tone, you know? She doesn't even really hear the word. For example, it's used in a great season six episode where Ray's friends test out his theory that he can call Deborah anything as long as he says it in that cute way. Needless to say, he cannot. Nothing but bills today, smelly champ. <laughs> I know, we always get so much. <laughs> Robert made me do it. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.